All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to give you an example of a function that's not continuous and really rigorously showing that it's not continuous. Because in my opinion, you only understand things by understanding their opposite. So consider one of the most famous non-continuous functions. So f of x, which is one if x is greater or equal to zero and zero if x is less than or equal, less than zero. So the function, what it looks like, so at zero, it just switches between being one here, so f is one here, but then zero here. So in other words, this function has a jump discontinuity, and let's show that f is not continuous. So show f is not continuous at uh, zero. And let's do it both ways, one using the sequential definition and the other one using the epsilon delta definition. Well, with the sequential definition, all it means you need to find, so one to find xn converging to zero, so some sequence that converges to zero, but such that f of xn does not converge to f of 0, which is 1. In other words, can you find some sequences converging to 0 such that f of that sequence does not converge to f of 0? Well, of course you bet, because you can just choose a sequence xn to be negative and converging to 0. For instance, let xn to be minus 1 over n, okay. that sequence converges to 0, but since xn is negative, we know that f of xn is 0. Just by definition of f, f is 0 at negative values, and so f of xn cannot converge to 1, because f on xn is always 0. How can the sequence 0 converge to 1? Therefore, f is not continuous at 0. Equally, if not more important, let's do, uh, show the function is not continuous using the epsilon delta definition of continuity. And let me remind you what the epsilon delta definition says. So in general, um, continuous at x0 means that for all epsilon there is delta such that for all x if um, x minus x naught is less than delta then f of x minus f of x naught is less than epsilon. Okay. And again, it's the same thing with the good region. If you're close enough to x naught, then f of x is in the good region. And more interestingly is, what is the negation of that? What does it mean to be not continuous at x naught? Again, how do you negate a statement? You just replace for all with there exists. So there is some error, epsilon positive, such that and the opposite of there is, is for all. So for all, so no matter how small the threshold, there is always some x, is x such that Okay, now, what's the negation of if something, then something? For instance, what's the negation of, it, of I do math, therefore I'm happy? It's I do math, but I am not happy. So such that, which I hope you are happy, it's very important, uh, such that x minus x naught is less than delta, but f of x minus f of x naught is greater or equal to epsilon. Okay. More important.
importantly, what does that mean picture-wise? Because I know this is math, but what does it even mean? Um, so in consider a function, let me just exaggerate here. So here it's really squiggly. So this is f. Maybe it has some value here and then some value here. And this is x naught. And that's f of x naught. What this means is there is some specific error epsilon. So a fixed error epsilon. And remember, with every epsilon comes a good region. So with great power comes great responsibility. Here, with small epsilon, still comes great responsibility. And then this says is, there is some fixed error such that no matter how close we are to x naught, so no matter how small delta, okay, there is always some evil, evil, evil x, so, uh, well, where's my axis here, maybe? Uh, so, there is always some evil counterexample x such that f of x is outside of the good region. So, f, f, x says, no, 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 I don't want to be part of the epsilon club. Okay? So, again, no matter how small the error is, no, sorry, there is a fixed error such that no matter how close we are to x naught, there is always some evil x that is never inside the good region. So literally the opposite of what we want. Now, let's apply this to our function f of x. All right. Here what we want is as follows. So here, there is some error, epsilon positive, such that for all um, uh, delta, there is x such that x minus x naught, so x minus zero, which is absolute value of x, is less than delta, but f of x minus f of zero so here, f of x minus 1, it's greater than epsilon. So let me remind you of what our function looks like. So our function, remember, it was um, 1 here. That's f, which is 1 here. And then 0 for negative x. And what do we want? We want to find some error, epsilon, such that, let's see, let me use black here, there's some error, epsilon, such that no matter how close we are to zero, so such that no matter how small delta, there is some evil x such that f of x is never in this good region. So such that the distance between f and 1 is at most uh, epsilon. So sorry, uh, such that the distance is, is at least one epsilon away. So such that you're outside of this good region. And well, how do you do this? Well, uh, notice if x is negative, then f of x is 0. So definitely at least epsilon away from f. And then we are done. Except we just need to fix a small epsilon. How about we choose epsilon to be 1 half? Just so that we're really a positive distance away from 0. So let epsilon be 1 half. Then uh, for all delta, How do you fix your, uh, um, how do you choose your evil counterexample? Just let x be in that region, but negative. Let x ah, let x be any negative number number with absolute value of x.
absolute value of x to be less than delta. For instance, if you want to be super concrete, uh, we can just choose x to be minus delta over 2. And then, what do we have? Well, of course, absolute value of x is less than delta, just by construction, but But what is f of x minus uh, f minus 1? Well, remember, x is negative, so f of x, by definition, is 0. So it's 0 minus 1, which is 1, and it's definitely greater than or equal to 1 half. In fact, any error with 1 also would have worked in this case. Uh, and therefore, we're done. Therefore, f is definitely not continuous. I know, it seems like a lot of work for something that small, but again, this is super, super important because once you understand this, then you can do like amazing uh, and more powerful things. Uh, all right, thank you very much.